Welcome to For Your Consideration, the only award show you need to watch right here on Collider. Every week I am joined by two amazing pundits to talk about award season, the great movies we're going to be talking about, the ups and downs in award season, what's coming, what's going, what was a big surprise. And of course, I am joined by the amazing Perry Nemiroff. As though this show in general can't be my jam enough, this particular topic, oh, yeah. two things I love right here. I know you're, you're ready to get going, but before <laughs> we do, I have to introduce Jeff Snyder. I love The Quiet Place and what we're going to be talking about today I'd scream it from the mountaintops if I could, but I know I have to be quiet. Okay, no, no, no. This is good. So, yes, we are going to be talking about A Quiet Place here on For Your Consideration today. And this movie opened, premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival. It was the opening night film. And holy moly, of all the uh, like film festivals that I've gone to in the last 20 years, being in the audience, seeing A Quiet Place run for the first time, the energy in that room, when the cast took the stage afterwards, uh, it was a moment because everyone in the room knew that this was more than just a special film that was going to do very, very well at the box office. This was going to be a contender. The question is, is it a contender, Perry Nemiroth? A quiet place? I think it is. I think it is a serious contender that we need to watch out for. And I think it's a sign that it had that big of an opening, made that big of a splash at South by Southwest. Because, you know, you're excited to be at a festival. You want to be the first to see a movie. But after that, the real test comes when yeah. the movie gets its wide release. And I'll tell you that later on when it did, and I went to my first public screening, it was like the second that movie st started, the air was sucked out of the room. Totally. And we were all in it together. And that is a very special experience. And I think that just goes to show that this is one of those movies that is going to continue to be talked about enough to actually get a nomination. And in, in this case, there's quite a few categories that I think it has a real, real shot at. Okay, we'll get to that in a yep. second. Jeff Snyder. <laughs> I think it should be a contender. I loved it. This is probably my third favorite movie of the year. Certainly my favorite live action film of the year. The best studio movie of the year. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure that it is actually going to be a contender. I think that, you know, the Academy has proven to have a real bias against horror. Um, unless, like Get Out, there's some kind of socio-cultural, socio-political element to it. And, and this movie doesn't have that. It, it, it certainly made me, like, well up with emotion. I think it absolutely has that in terms of the family dynamic and, and uh, a certain sacrifice that one character makes towards the end of the movie. But I'm not sure that it's going to resonate with the Academy enough for a Best Picture nomination. Okay, well, here's, here's where I agree and disagree with each of you. First of all, so A Quiet Place cost around $25 million to make. And it uh, made $188 million mm. domestically, and it made $332 million worldwide. It wow. was a true word of mouth hit. That's true. And first of all, it is my absolute favorite movie of 2018 so far. And it is a film that, while it doesn't have the, the uh, political and the uh, uh, racial undertones mm -hmm. of a film like Get Out, there is some subtext to A Quiet Place about, about raising family, about the pressures of raising a family in this day and age, in the Trump era, and, you know, with the craziness that's going on in the world. The people are finding things about that movie that go way beneath the surface. So to that extent, I do think of A Quiet Place as this year's Get Out because it just because it's making people talk about other things beyond just the suspense, the horror, the amazing performances. And John Krasinski as a director, now this is his third movie as a director, but it's the first movie that he directed that from a, the, that, that he didn't write it. The other two films, which were very like Sundancey dramedy type yes. movies, a little formulaic. This was like a who knew that he, that John Krasinski from The Office, really? Who knew? <laughs> but I don't mean that in a bad way. I think he's a really talented filmmaker. But they just pulled out all the stops. And there were so many things about this movie while I was watching it that made me think there is a lot more going on here. But this is a horror film. So let's look at the history of horror at the Oscars. And yes, one movie that sticks out as a big winner. It's one of the three movies to sweep the Oscars with Best Picture, Director, Screenplay, Actor, and Actress. It is 1991's Silence of the Lambs. After that, 
What do you got, Perry? Oh, boy. Yeah, this is this is part of the problem. But I think that what we've seen recently with the horror genre, especially movies that happen to perform really well, is they're movies that don't just appeal to the core horror fan base. They're movies that have a little more to offer than scares. I mean, take, for example, and, you know, going back to the popular film category, I bet you it would have been in contention. That is a great horror movie and a great coming-of-age story. That that is a perfect example. Then we also we could throw in Hereditary this year too. Talk about another horror movie yeah, that yeah. scares the crap out of you, but also gives you something to think about. And you just said it to me. In order for a, a horror movie right now to kind of make that leap, yep. you need to have that extra something. And I think that this movie in particular has two extra somethings, needing to think about actually what's going on and the whole family thing. And what would what would you do to save your family? How far would you go? And just the idea of dealing dealing with grief throughout this whole situation. So there's that, and there's there's also the fact that it's got a great core con. It's a great high concept, very mm -hmm. sellable, yeah. and it, yeah, it's it really fascinating. <laughs> it it forces you to say, you know, what from from both angles too. What would I do if I were in that situation? And I think those are two things that are going to clear that line and give it a chance. Does, does it work for you on that level, Jeff? You, it's funny. Well, Perry mentioned hereditary, and I, I kind of think it's interesting. I don't know if hereditary, by whatever uh, uh, standards the Academy puts in place for this best pop popular Oscar, I don't know if hereditary will even be eligible. Yeah, for but popular? But, but, I don't uh, think so. Well, not popular. An independent spirit award, but, yeah. But what if it was? Like, you know, what if it's, you know, $50 million is, is the, the hurdle that, that a, a film needs to clear to be eligible? Hereditary is a little bit indier and more gritty. I, again, I prefer A Quiet Place, but could that maybe pose a problem for A Quiet Place, if, if this other elevated horror movie that got critical acclaim? The well, place okay. where I think it could cause a problem is in one particular category. If Which you're is? if you're pitting, Best let's actress. say, Emily Blunt against Tony Collette, I think even though I think Emily Blunt is fantastic, I think just given the general response to Hereditary, mm -hmm. yeah. Tony Collette would wind up stealing role. that honor. It's just one half dozen the other in that case because uh, first of all, yes, I mean Tony Collette was uh, magnificent. It was a performance for the ages, but. It was a polarizing film. Critics loved it, but but audiences were very divided. And uh, it's also a film that it, I mean, it didn't make a ton of money like like A Quiet Place did, and which which puts A Quiet Place absolutely in the popular film category. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think that because there's so much more to it than like everything you just talked about with the, with the family, and there's so much heart to this film. You care about this family so much, and Emily Blunt, absolutely, she 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 makes great movies to begin with, but the only thing that could hurt. Emily Blunt in this case is Mary Poppins right, Returns. Exactly. She's got another big movie for award season. Will that movie, will she find herself competing against herself? First of all, Mary Poppins Returns has to be good for that conversation to continue. If it's not good, then then Paramount goes, Okay, mm. we're back. We're back with the quiet place. But but again, I, I think that uh, you you know you've already taken two slots in the best actress category and we still have the biggest four months to go not for happening. all those yeah. not happening <laughs> and so yeah, one of them's going to go but i do think that uh, a quiet place is worthy is worthy of the following categories best picture best director best original screenplay actress supporting actress for millicent simmons um sound Definitely yeah. sound. Yeah, that, that's what I'm, I was waiting to get to. Is I think that this movie is a shoe in for both sound categories, which is kind of it's almost antithetical to that because sound is about the creation of sound, not the absence of sound. And the, I mean, the beauty of this film is in its silences. So I wonder if the sound director, uh, you know, sound uh, voters in, in that branch will honor it, or if they'll be like, well, what did they really do? Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but 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 you also mentioned John Krasinski and his transition to a director, obviously. He knocked this movie out of the park. I do think that, you know, it's tough. They honored Jordan Peele last year, mm -hmm. and, and Krasinski is not a first-time director, but it's probably the, f the first Krasinski movie that a lot of people have actually seen. Correct. Those are two, two really, uh, you know, underseen films. I think that John has a better shot at being recognized in the writing category because he did mm -hmm. co-write the script with uh, Scott Beck and Brian Woods. I think it, screenplay, in addition to sound, is, is where this film could find itself honored instead of Best Picture. Well, you know, Jordan Peele did win his screenplay Oscar for Get Out, and I feel like, you know, like it's just interesting how the Academy me thinks well we can't really give this movie best picture even though it probably deserves it but this movie deserves it more so we'll give it screenplay instead i can see academy voters sort of like thinking like that but i do think that of of the popular films 
that we've seen so far for the first eight months of 2018. You know, we've talked about Black Panther. I think that obviously, you know, Get Out is definitely a, a surefire contender, maybe to even win popular film category, depending on whatever those guidelines yeah. are. You mean A Quiet Place? Yeah, I'm calling it now. It's <laughs> get, it's A Quiet Place. Yeah, Get Out. I mean, uh, I mean Get Out, A Quiet Place. But uh, I do think that, um, you know, and like the other films that we've seen the first few months of the year, the first eight months of the year, I mean, you know, animated feature, Incredibles 2, best documentary, uh, right. you know, Be My Neighbor. Um, but, uh, and, you know, Hereditary, I think that's more, with the exception of, of uh, of Tony Collette, yeah. I feel like that's more of an independent spirit awards kind of movie. But uh, yes or no, does A Quiet Place deserve to get nominated for Best Picture, and will it, Perry? At this point in time, it deserves it. I don't think it's going to get it, but I do think it's going to get it in the sound categories and screenplay. Okay, Jeff, I'm kind of right in line with Perry. I think it, it deserves it, but. I'd have a tough time predicting it at this moment for a Best Picture nomination, though I do feel comfortable saying screenplay and sound. Okay, I am beating the drum for A Quiet Place. I'm saying that this will make the cut for Best Picture. It deserves to. It is an instant classic, not just a great horror movie, but a great movie period. And we shall see someday very, very soon. Meanwhile, make some noise. Uh, make some noise. We are making some noise here on your for your consideration. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Movie Man. So let me know what you think. Let us know what you think of our predictions today. You'll also find Perry at, at P. Nemiroff. And Jeff at, at The Insider. And for the next time, until next time on For Your Consideration, FY, see you later. Hey everybody, Mark Ellis here. Thanks for watching this episode. You want to watch more? Then click up here. Or you can click right here for more great content from Collider. If you haven't subscribed to Collider Video, do so right now and share this vid with your friends. Thanks for watching.